there's never been a good time to do a video because I have four people living in my house and <clears throat> I never get a chance to make a video anymore because there's always like noise and things like that, people talking. Anyways, <clears throat> necessarily it was. I knew it was the books, but I didn't know what was going to come in or anything like that. And he told me, he was like, I, d I didn't have much money to get you like, like hard packs or whatever, you know, collectible, whatever. I was like, that's okay. I just want the books because I've actually already read the books, but I want to read them again. So, opened the cardboard box on Christmas and I looked inside and I saw the side of this box. I was like, no way. Um, that I was actually really shocked and I was surprised either way because this was definitely not what I was expecting. So it's really cool. It's heavy. Shows a picture of him playing Quidditch. 
I'll just cut um, to the part where Ron got the heller from his mother after they stole the car and flew to Hogwarts in it because they missed the train. That was funny. I laughed on that part. Okay, and this me but this is actually my least favorite of the whole series um I love um I love hating Professor Umbridge in this book but I don't know it's just hmm it's just my least favorite of the series it was really really hard to get through because I really want to get to the next one and this one was just so so long so it took me a while to get through this one I first read the series, but maybe the second time around I'll like it better. I really don't want these books to fall over. I got them stacked over here, my goodness. And this is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I love this one as well. Um, gosh, I wish I could read the synopsis. All in hard packs. I love that. I'm sorry, guys. I have a cold. So I'm just, oh gosh, it's gonna fall over. I know it is. Please, please don't fall over. Okay, all right. Okay, I think it's gonna stay stable for a few more minutes. And this is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. this cover too. Um, movie wise, um, the part one is actually second to least favorite because, you know, it was lengthy. <laughs> but I still love it. I love Harry Potter. I had to switch hands here. Hold on. Yep, this was, um, a gift from my husband for Christmas, <laughs> and he got a lot of kisses for it, trust me. <clears throat> Love Harry Potter. <clears throat> My mom wasn't as excited as I was about making them because, um, I mean, I'm a Christian and everything. I believe in God, but my mom is like a, a diehard Christian and she believes that, um, I shouldn't be reading them. Because I remember when I was little, I was like 10 years old, maybe, and my sister in law at the time, she sent me the whole series all up to Goblet of Fire in paperback and I was never allowed to read them and until two years ago I was a hater of Harry Potter until I picked up the book at the first book at the library and I was 
a fan, a big fan. <laughs> um, my birthday's coming up on January 18th, and I already asked my husband to get me the movies on Blu-ray. <laughs> I know I sound selfish, but that would be awesome to have the movies on Blu-ray. We just got a TV for Christmas. It's a 48-inch TV, flat screen, and uh, I think it'd be awesome to have the movies on Blu-ray to be able to watch. So, um, that is my big Christmas gift. And I got other book series, too. Um, I wish I had brought them in here. If I felt like I, well, I had this much time, but it's okay. I might make another video showing you. And hold on, look at my cat. Bum bum. Pumpkin. Mr. Pumpkin loves boxes. He has been laying on that box since Christmas. Oh, and we still have our tree up. And then my nephew, he's coming tomorrow and he's celebrating Christmas a little bit late. So, but Bob, he's so tired. But, um, yeah, and that, that's just what I want to show you guys. And like I said, I'm on the second one, so as I upload this video, I'll be reading it until I get sleepy. And then it has this, like, little lock thing that you can lock it with. <clears throat> it was actually hard to get open the first time. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's probably one of the best gifts I've ever gotten. And my husband doesn't judge me for it, you know? I mean, I'm almost 25 years old and I still love Harry Potter, but hey, whatever, you know? <clears throat> I love him. Oh, and um, another thing, I think I still got time. I went to go see Star Wars, uh, The Force Awakens on, uh, Christmas Eve. That was awesome. Oh my goodness, guys, that movie was so good. And I had already seen Star Wars 4, 5, and 6. So my brother pretty much told me that even though I didn't see 1, 2, and 3, that, um, it pretty much... <clears throat> leaves off from number six and it was so good guys oh my goodness it had all the original characters in it Han Solo Princess Leia um and um Luke Skywalker wasn't in it actually so that was a kind of a bummer um Okay, he totally was. I just don't want to ruin it for you guys. <laughs> and then Chewbacca, um, R2-D2 made an appearance. Um, and CP3O made an appearance. And then there's a new one, uh, a new robot. I forgot what his name was. Um, and uh, there's this, um, the girl's name in the movie is Ray. And there's a, um, boy whose name is Finn, and, uh, and I really like him. He's really funny. He keeps all the jokes going during the movie, and I love that. So, if you guys haven't seen Star Wars The Force Awakens yet, please go see it. It is so worth going to see it in theaters. So, please go see it. But anyways... I hope you guys have a good night, and thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for all your love and kindness, and I hope everybody has a sweet dream.